Hey, how you doing? My name is TJ and welcome to my channel where I'll be sharing with you coding tutorials and technical insights to help you on your coding journey. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top seven websites to use to search for software engineering jobs or just jobs in the tech industry in general. I help the students in my coding and career prep program prepare for the job search and these are just some of the websites that I share with them. So if you're interested in learning how to code with me or if you need help preparing for the job search, definitely make sure that you check out the Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep Program. Now, the very first website that you should definitely check out on your job search is LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has this feature that's called Easy Apply, which lets you with one click submit your LinkedIn profile as your actual application or resume. And it just makes it really easy for you to apply to a lot of jobs without you having to upload or enter a lot of profile information because all that information is already on your LinkedIn. Also, a lot of the jobs posted on LinkedIn have the actual recruiter information on that job as well, which makes it easy for you to figure out who you need to follow up with and contact when it comes to hearing more about that role. The second website that you should check out is Indeed.com because that's a very popular place for a lot of tech jobs. And they also let you filter by salary estimates as well. The next website that you should check out is called Junior Dev Jobs. And this website was specifically created to list jobs that were made just for junior engineers or those early on in their tech career. Now after that, the next website that you should check out is angel.co. And angel.co is a one-stop shop for job listings from tech startups, right? So angel.co is a place where tech startups post all the jobs that they're looking for, including software engineering jobs and just jobs at those companies in general. So if you are interested in working at a tech startup, then angel.co is the place to go looking for jobs there. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel to help me continue making content like this to help you on your coding journey. Now, another website that I really like is cybercoders.com because the jobs posted there are posted by the recruiters themselves. And again, those jobs have the actual contact information of the recruiter to make it easier for you to reach out to them and follow up about your application. The next website is stackoverflow.com. Now, Stack Overflow is going to be a very popular place for a lot of engineers to look for help when it comes to coding problems. So it definitely makes sense for a lot of tech companies to post tech jobs here as well. Now, the last website I'm going to suggest, of course, is Glassdoor.com because this is a good place to go to look for jobs and to also immediately see reviews about those jobs and potentially even see interview questions that you might be asked when you start the interview process for those jobs. Also, Glassdoor is a good place to look at salary estimates when it comes to the different roles that you might be searching for. Alright, so those are the top 7 websites that you should be using as a beginner or just as someone looking for a job in the tech industry. So now I'm going to share with you a few quick tips to help you in your job search. The first tip, try not to apply to job postings that are more than 2-4 to four months old, right? Any job posting more than 4 months old? The company has probably already filled that position, so don't really waste your time trying to apply for that. If anything, I would prioritize the job postings that are still no more than two months old, and I wouldn't apply to anything more than four months old. Number two, as a software engineer or, you know, as a junior software engineer, I should say, or just somebody that is a lot newer into the industry, don't apply to jobs that ask for more than four to five years of experience. So anything below four years of experience, those are going to be jobs that are a lot more open to receiving applications from juniors or those that are a bit newer into the industry. So again, do not apply to jobs that are asking for more than four to five years of experience. Definitely prioritize the job postings that are asking for less than four to five years. Now, the third and probably the most important tip. After you apply to a job online, do your best to try to find the contact information of somebody in HR or somebody on the engineering team or just somebody in whatever department that you are applying to and try to reach out to them and send them your application information to help make sure that your application is actually seen by a real human being. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your time applying to jobs online, which can kind of be like a black hole where you never really hear any type of feedback or even know if a real human being has actually seen your application. So it's really important to follow up your job applications by trying to reach out to a human being at that company. 
And that's it. Hopefully all of these tips help you on your job search. And again, if you need help preparing for the job search, definitely check out the Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep Program. Comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.